Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And your grace to salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called your children, grant, we pray, that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Fear not, Abram. I am your shield. I will make your reward very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what good will your gifts be if I keep on being childless and have as my heir the steward of my house? Eliezer. Abram continued, See, you have given me no offspring, and so one of my servants will be my heir. Then the word of the Lord came to him, No, that one shall not be your heir. Your own issue shall be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Abram put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land as a possession. O oh Lord God, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abram brought him all these, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other, but the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abram stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abram, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set and it was dark, there appeared a smoking firepot and a flaming torch, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the Wadi of Egypt to the great river of the Euphrates. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsorial psalm, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds, sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. 
Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Just so, every good tree bears good fruit, and a rotten tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rotten tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. To our ears, I think it's difficult sometimes to understand this covenant with Abram. Um, we know that there's something important going on here, but what does the slaughtering of all these animals have to do with the covenant that God is making with Abram? In Abram's time, if two kings were making an agreement, um, say they were at war and they had established peace between them, they would take animals and they would sacrifice them and they would cut them in half and they would lay out the halves like this. And then the two kings would walk in between the animals and they would say, um, if I do not follow this agreement, if I do not follow this promise, if I do not follow this covenant, may I be like these animals, may I be destroyed like these animals. So when you read this reading, um, Abram's question to God is, how do I know this is going to happen? How do I know that your promise is going to be true? How do I know that my descendants will inherit this land? And he gives them the instruction to take the animals and cut them in half, place them on the ground, and then Abram goes into a trance. I would like to suggest that that trance was basically him falling asleep from having waited so long. He falls asleep. And God appears to him as a smoking fire pot and a, and, a, and, a, and a torch. And he passes between the animals. When God is saying to Abram, 
that I will never give up this covenant. If I give up this covenant, may I be destroyed like the life of these animals. And so God's promise is spoken in a way that is, you know, 4,000, 6,000 years old. But it's a promise that resounds still today. The promise to Abram, who becomes Abraham, who becomes the father of a nation, changes the world because of one simple act that he made. He believed in one God. And nothing has ever been the same since. In the past, there was gods of volcanoes, gods of thunder and lightning, gods of the storms, gods of the dry, gods of the drought, gods of the trees. And Abraham's insight into God has changed us forever. Because with one God, we can have a conversation. With one God, we can know who God is. And the challenge that God gives to Abram, the challenge that God gives to us is to continue to care for the people whom God has placed in our lives. Our families, our friends, the stranger, those who knock on our doors, those we work with, those we encounter when we sit in a hot chapel in the middle of the day. We are called to be people who are willing to give our lives as God is willing to give his life, as Jesus showed us on the cross. Those are the strengths of who we are. We are a people because God has promised us that we will continue to have life and we will know joy and peace and even suffering will have meaning in our lives. That is our hope. Hang on in hope. We will be burning mass hopefully next week and we will be be celebrating the fact that we can be together again in ways, hopefully, that we haven't experienced yet and with great thankfulness for the people God has placed in our lives. That is the lesson of this last year, how precious people are, how precious it is to be in the presence of others, and how we are called to be showing the love that God has for us by showing our love for one another. For the church, may God's grace empower her servants in bringing good fruit for him. Let us pray to the Lord. For those with authority and influence over nations and peoples, may the Good Shepherd lead them in protecting the flocks. entrusted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. For the suffering and the despairing, may God bless and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may God increase our desire to generously share our gifts of time, talent, and treasure. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For those who have died, 
May they come to enjoy the fullness of life and love in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, Strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you, Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Just a reminder to please leave through the, through the door over here. It's going to take a few minutes or a couple of minutes for everybody to leave, but please be patient. Jane, is there a docent present in the, in the basilica at this moment? Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to preach the gospel with our lives. Thanks be to God. Juan vio el numero de los redimidos. <laughs> 